Okay, Pythagoras' theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The sum of the squares on the two short sides is equal to the square on the longer side, or the hypotenuse. In my first example over here, I'm trying to find the hypotenuse. How do I know that this side is the hypotenuse? Well, two ways. Firstly, it's through the right angle, opposites to the right angle. So that is the hypotenuse, the longer side. Or the two shorter sides form the right angle, therefore the third side is the hypotenuse. So following the rule, we simply have that x squared is equal to 4 squared plus 6 squared. So the square on the long side is equal to the sum of the squares on the two short side. Stick that into your calculator, gives you 4 squared plus 6 squared equals 52. To remove the squared, we square root both sides. And we end up with x is equal to the square root of 52. You can put that into your calculator and you'll end up with 2 root 13 if you've got one of these clever ones. To change it to a decimal, press the SD button and we get that x is equal to 7.21 centimetres to three significant figures. So that's relatively straightforward. However, the second example over here, I am trying to find one of the shorter sides. This is the hypotenuse. It's through the right angle. These two are the shorter sides, they form the right angle. So this formula doesn't work as it stands. If I just write it down very quickly, what we need to do is rearrange it slightly so that one of these two shorter sides is the subject of the formula. Probably the easiest way to do it is to remove the b squared by subtraction, and we end up with a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. In other words, if we're trying to find one of the shorter sides, we subtract the squares. Following that rule then, we get that x squared is equal to c squared, 12 squared, minus 10 squared. It's always the biggest square, take away the smaller square, just uh, to make sure you don't get a negative result there. Again, stick it in your calculator, you end up with 12 squared minus 10 squared equals 44. Again, at that point there, remove the squared with square root, and we end up with x is equal to the square root of 44 and that gives you 2 root 11 on one of these clever calculators. Add a decimal to three decimal places, press the SD button, and you get 6.63 centimetres.